Well, firstly, I'd, uh, I'd like to repeat that the uh, vast majority of doctors are well-qualified and ethical people who want to help the, their patients. And, uh, of course, uh, not all situations are so ideal, but generally this is the, the, the principle. Um, sometimes the outcome of the treatment or diagnosing process, diagnostic process is not ideal as well, and this is very crucial to uh, divide two things. The first thing is personal responsibility for, for, for the work being done by doctors, for instance. Nobody wants to, to say that doctors should be not responsible for what they do. But on the other hand, if we are talking, and one of the main issues in the European Union uh, health care market, I would say, now, uh, um, the patient's safety or quality of care. If we, if we work on better quality, on better safety of the patient, we must uh, not uh, intensively look after the people who are guilty because, of course, this should be done, but this doesn't help much for the future. And we have, thinking about safer future for our patients, we have to think or, or, or work on establishing a different culture, culture of looking for, uh, for places where the uh, unexpected events occur often or, 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 or simply occur in order to, uh, to lower the risk of such situations in the future. And for instance, Anonymous reporting on the problems occurring in our healthcare facilities. This is a very good uh, idea to be developed. Uh, the system which gives uh, some compensation to the, to the patient who is hurt without looking for a fault of individual health professional, for instance doctor, is also the, a good idea to be developed. And um, also, including courts in this process, most often, does not help. So I think that uh, thinking about uh, the, the, the safety of our patients in this, um, in, in this perspective is probably, for the first view, uh, a little bit unjust, but at the end, it's much more effective. And I think that we have to think more in this, in this perspective uh, on, on, on the whole problem. Do you have some uh, uh, rules or uh, what are included in the law for the safety of the patient like that, when some error comes out? Well, more and more countries in the European Union think in, in, in this perspective about solving or, or on how to solve this problem. And for instance, in some Scandinavian countries, they already, already uh, have a well-established system of uh, looking after, uh, after unexpected uh, harms uh, caused by, by medicine. Uh, to the patient and, and uh, how to compensate this without looking for, for the fault of individual doctors or nurses. Uh, and also many countries now work on, uh, on uh, the systems which will help the health professionals uh, on working on improving the situation. As it was already said, uh, many unexpected events are not based on individual error but rather on uh, uh, the problem of the of the organization without individual fault and of course uh, for the patient it doesn't matter uh, if they are harmed in such a situation uh, the the first what we have to do is not looking after individuals guilty individuals but rather on how to improve this and if the organization fails the organization has to be improved and the, the best way of uh, of uh, improving the organization is 
um, to, to uh, let's say, divide between the error and unexpected event or side effect of the, of the whole uh, diagnostic or, uh, or therapeutic process.